Hello, it's Dominique. I want to share with you a project I just finished. Uh, I will be visiting uh, one of my friends uh, uh, pretty soon. And uh, I wanted to bring her a little book. And her daughter got married a couple years ago. And I'm thinking that she might come soon and say I'm pregnant. So <laughs> I thought that I could make it a little book. And um, she could use it to put some pictures of her grandchildren. So I wanted to uh, make something with uh, leftovers I had, so I'm cleaning my stash. I've got these that I had made a couple of uh, projects before and I still had enough to make another project. Uh, I have been using Bedtime Story. Those are the 4x6 uh, journaling cards. Uh, I still have some for another project. And I also I have the 3x4 uh, note cards. But uh, I've been looking, like last year, I've been looking, searching everywhere where I could find a 6x6 pad. They do not make it anymore. And I uh, had bought a couple at uh, Hobby Lobby like three years ago, and I was so sad to see that they were not carrying it anymore because I really wanted to make more uh, uh, baby albums with that. But anyways, I had found this one. Uh, that was two years ago because this, they don't have that one either and I thought that the, the, the colors uh, matched a little bit. It's called uh, Park Bench. Of course some of the, pa the, the papers with the Park Bench on it <laughs> don't really match but so much matched and I thought that it would be good to uh, help me make a project with those. So I'm going to show you what I made. So it's a small book. Like I make a lot of small books these days and um, but this one is a little bit more interactive so instead of making uh, like three signature journal booklet in there and having just the, the inside of the covers with interactions in um, I decided to uh, make a smaller book uh, the journaling book and add uh, two pages so uh, it's very easy um, I'll show you how I made this so first the, the front uh, the covers are made with chipboard and here I have made a pile of chipboard so I have piece of chipboard underneath this plate that I made with a piece of chipboard covered with paper. I have this little sh piece that I cut from the, the cards. I put a piece of chipboard underneath and this one as well, piece of chipboard. So I have one, two, three, four pieces of chipboard thick. So it's pretty thick. And here measures about an inch and a half. And this is pretty much uh, four by six or yeah, four by six. So put a bunch of flowers here. I didn't want to make it too girly because uh, it's for neutral, like if it's a boy or a girl. There's a little bit of pink just in case there's a girl so that they don't think it's a boy album. But uh, even though if it's a boy, a little pink don't matter so much. So I use one of the cards for the backing here of the cover and here as well. And this one too, uh, there was this uh, sheet from the 6x6 and then the cards from the it's the same design as the stars okay so the card was a little bit lighter blue turquoise uh, those are the four by sixes and then the three by four was even lighter so I kind of pile them to go lighter and lighter and I put a, I put a piece of chipboard underneath that last one and here I cut just a little piece of uh, the card that had all the lines because they're journaling uh, cards so they all have those lines to journal on so I just put a little piece so that she can write if she wants to give it to her her daughter can write from grandma whatever or if she wants to keep it she can write down the names of the kids whatever whatever she wants and I used some sheer ribbon for the closure and here I had put some um, cheesecloth underneath that piece here and also I have my pico underneath I don't know if you can see yeah so that's why it's so thick okay so the way it's, it works we have the two covers that are uh, with interaction I have this book here with a journal that is uh, that has it on, its own uh, gusset, if I should say. The way that it's uh, binded the, or glued onto the binder, it's got a little gusset that I added, like a quarter inch gusset. And it has this one sheet that I folded into and I made uh, like I would say almost half an inch here. Uh, for gluing onto the book and then I have two little pieces about quarter inch for the um, the pages to lay to uh, lean one on another <laughs> always having problems saying that so that uh, the, the the pages have some you know they move like this so that it's easier it goes flatter what happened to the cards that I had here oh, I got my cards I must have put them back in there I had two cards here. Anyways, I'll look for them. They must be somewhere. Let me check. Oh, there they are. 
right here. Those go here. They're holding the flap closed, so they're very important. They have to go there. Okay, so here, as usual, I made my uh, file here. So I have this belly band, so I put this little card in there. And I have three layers because I had this one envelope that I had punched the half circle not in the center, so I kept it and I cut again a little bit, just the thickness or the, the width of the half circle and I reused it so I, I punched the right circle at the right place. So that's why I have like three uh, three levels of envelope. This one is I, I reused and I put two here. And in the back you have this little card. This goes in the back of the file. And also the two covers have uh, liners, so it, they have a non-page pocket, which is here, and I put this little card in there on both sides. Next, this one is the first page of this two page here. So here I made just a belly band. I didn't want to do, do too much here because I wanted to have a lot going on in here, and the book was not that thick to allow like there's no picture it doesn't matter if the book is going to be open on once the pictures are added but there are lots of uh, hinges that are uh, allowing picture to go in so it might not add that much okay but anyways doesn't matter so here I just put a, a belly band and I put this card in there so it opens like this here we have a magnet here I made two pockets uh, with this little design here and I had a little notch here that was cut a little square was cut so I kept uh, the little mice that were here on that card next to the cat and then I just uh, put them here but I backed uh, on different um, paper underneath so that it kind of pops out a little bit. So I made uh, two pockets. So this is one little pocket. I just kept this little, um, it was going further like little O fiddle DD whatever and uh, I just cut here because the rest was missing. So I said, oh, I'm not throwing that away. And here, this is from the uh, bench park and like the measurement, like the baby is growing, so I thought that uh, it was very appropriate. So I just folded a piece in two, she can put photos, or can, she can just list the height and uh, whatever, of the, the, the length of the baby and uh, the, the, the weight and everything. So she can take keep track of that. Here there's a pocket, uh, again a belly band, or pocket side po sideways, po sideways pocket. And, um, oh I didn't open here, sorry. So here I have, on this flap, just a little tuck spot. Here I have this nice, all these cards I had not used in the in the, the album at all. So I said, I'm going to make a waterfall with those. So she can put picture in the back and journal on the front. And this is how it goes with a magnet. So here I have two cards that's holding this flap closed. So I just put them there. And if I open this, I have this just a little side pocket and a card in it and this is the book with uh, the journal so I had uh, this flap here was uh, the flap that goes here I had an extra one but it was too thick so um, I said okay I'm gonna cut it and you reuse it so I reused it right here and I cut this card that I thought was cute to put in here so she has a journey she has 24 pages here and here she can tuck something in there and same here the little piggy so another one here and the cover, that's the, the journal page. So you have the journaling page or journal page. Here you have the two pages that are journal page, two pages with interactive, interactive uh, pages. So you have those two different. And then, yeah, this one needs to be glued on a little bit better, I think. And then, uh, yeah, this portion of the, is the uh, inside of the back uh, cover. So I made a little two little pockets, this one here and this one here, and this cute card, little baby in the, in the um, what do you call that, yeah. so anyway, so it opens like this, and here opens like this, so you have one pocket here, it goes all the way down, another one here, I used this because I thought it was cute, and then um, here it opens like this, you can put a picture here, made a tuck spot here. She can put a couple pictures, journal on this one. Here a picture. Picture here or maybe two small ones, a little journaling. And another one here, another one here, another one here, and another one here. So that's the envelope closure, envelope page I would call it. So that's what it is. 
And here on the back, of course, we have another on page pocket with this card. It goes right in there. So I think she's going to be really happy about that. I would really like to make one for myself. I'm a little bit jealous that she gets to have that because I wish I could get one. Well, if I ever get uh, to be a grandma, I will make myself one for sure. <laughs> so I can put pictures of all my grandkids. So that's what it is. If you liked it, you can uh, click on the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, you can do so right now. And check out for the uh, 1000 subscriber contest coming soon. And uh, click on that little bell so you can be notified when this, the, the contest starts. But you have to be already subscribed to my channel before the day that uh, the contest is on. And also, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so thank you for watching and happy scrapping. Bye-bye.